Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael Montero from the Monteville Studios. We are on chapter 20 of The Art of Creative Thinking by John Adair. Uh, chapter 20 states, learn to tolerate ambiguity. Chaos often breeds life when order breeds habits. That is Henley Adams. Negative capability. That is when a man is capable of being uncertainties, mysteries, doubts without any irritable, reaching after facts and reason. There's words of the poet John Keats point to an important attribute. It was felt the supreme gift of William Shakespeare's as a creative thinker, it is important, he adds, for creative thinkers to be able to remain content with half knowledge. Some people, by temperament, find any sort of ambiguity uncomfortable or even stressful. They jump to certainties. Any certainties just to escape from the unpleasant state of not knowing. They are like the young man who will not wait to meet the right girl. However, the long awaiting but marries simply in order to escape from the state of being unmarried. Thinking sometimes leads you up to a locked door. You are denied entry, however hard you knock. There seems to be more to be some insurmountable barriers. A refusal to give you what you are seeking. Yet you sense something is there. You feel as if you are in a state of suspend, suspended animation. You are wandering around in the dark. All you have are the unanswered or half answered questions doubt, uncertainties, and contradictions. You are like a person who suspects there is something gravely wrong with their health and is awaiting for the results of medical tests. The temptation of anxiety or fear is overwhelming. Anxiety is diffused fear for the object of it, it, it is not known clearly or visibly. If you are in a jungle and see a tiger coming towards you, you are afraid if there is no tiger and you still feel afraid, they are all suffering from anxiety. In the health analogy, what the person needs is courage. Courage does not mean the absence of anxiety or fear. We should be inhuman not to experience them. It means the ability to contain control or manage anxiety so that it does not freeze us into inaction. More creative thinkers have a higher threshold of tolerance to uncertainty, complexity, and appear apparent disorder than others. For these are conditions that often produce the best results. They will not feel they do not feel a need to reach out and pluck a premature conclusion or unripe solutions. The abstinence requires an intellectual form of courage, for you have to be able to put up with doubts, obscurity, and ambiguity for a long time. And these are negative states within a king, the kingdom of the positive. The negative and the positive are always at each other's throat. So you are condemned to an inner tension. The great American pioneer Daniel Bourne, famous for his journey into the trackless forest of the western frontier in the region we all know now call Kentucky 
was once asked if he ever lost. I can't say I was ever lost. He replied slowly after some reflection, but I was once sure, bewildered for three days as a creative thinker, you may never feel quite lost, but you will certainly be will bewildered for long stretches of time. Ambiguity comes from a Latin verb meaning to wander around. When your mind does not know where it is going, it has to wander around. Courage and perseverance are cousins. I think and think for months, for years, said Einstein. 99 times the conclusions, the conclusion is false. The hundredth time I am right, creative thinking often, not always, does require an entire patience. Patience. Secrets are not yielded easily. You have to be willing, if necessary, to persist in your particular enterprise of thought, despite counter of inferences, oppositions, or discouragements. That one leads us to our key points. We have three key points. Th key point number one says, negative capability is your capacity to live with your doubts and uncertainty over a sustained period of time. One does not discuss new lands, said French novelist André Guide, without consen consenting to lose sight of the show for a very long time. Key point number two. It is part of a wider tolerance of ambiguity which we all need to develop as a person. For life ultimately is not clearly understandable. It is riv riven with mystery. The area of in inexplicable increases as we grow older. Key point number three and the last one. A man without patience is a lamp without oil, said Andreas Segovia. Creative thinking is a form of active, energetic patience. Wait for order to emerge out of chaos. It needs a midwife when it is time, when its time has come. That is chapter 20, which was very interesting. It leads us to chapter 21 that says drift, drift, wait and obey. That one uh, direct me to the story of um, a land cruiser in a mud. It all to drift, wait and obey. If you're driving in a muddy uh, road, if your car drifts, you have to take it there because you can't, you're inside, you can't even control it when it's drifting. So you, you have to wait for it to finish drifting, then obey. Obeying is engaging the right gears. And um, our subtitle for chapter 21 states, the dreaming is thought, Sabbath, that is Amiel. Interesting. So I hope you've enjoyed chapter 20. So in chapter 21, drift, wait, and obey. For those who have not subscribed, please subscribe. Comment where you feel you need to comment. Share with your friends because these are great information which needs to be shared widely with our young people for educational purposes. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your able captain, Mr. Michael. Montero.